Hey guys, welcome back to Cartooning with Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Donald Duck from head to toe. So come on, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. I have been getting some feedback from viewers who are saying that they're really liking how I'm doing the posing and the full body drawings of the Fab Five, and I'm getting requests for Donald Duck. So I wanna thank you guys because I'm working on some videos that require a little more time to produce. These other requests are um, pretty quick for me. I can quickly shoot it, give it a little love, and get it out to you. So if you guys have specific requests, please let me know. But before you do that, please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the bell notification because without the bell notification, you only hear every now and then when I put up a video. So I'd like to thank you guys in advance. Now let's dive into this. Okay, so in drawing Donald Duck, you gotta remember a few things to start. So first, Donald Duck is four heads tall. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that if you take your pencil and your finger and you measure out one head height, you come down to two, three, four, that'll be roughly the height of Donald Duck. Now, unlike Mickey, where you would draw in his uh, center axis line downward, uh, almost perpendicular, right? What we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to curve it because Donald Duck's body is shaped differently than the other characters. He has, um, because he's a duck, his body kind of arches backward, okay? So we're gonna draw in, and if you wanna break it down, it's an egg shape down like this, and then it's this, it's kind of shaped like a cashew nut just like that. We're gonna give him a, a tail back here. And then, because we're drawing him uh, just just standing, uh, just kind of chilling out, uh, one way to draw his legs is to draw one leg arching back and one kind of pushing forward a little bit. And then from there, we'll wanna give him some feet and because this leg is back here like this, his foot is gonna be facing backward. And it's just this rounded triangular shape here. And then the front foot is going to be facing in the opposite direction, but we don't wanna mirror image the two, uh, the two shapes. Um, so I like to kind of elongate this side because he's facing forward. Now what we'll want to do is figure out, we've got the neck shape here like this. His shoulders would rest down here. So I'll just throw in that circle and then we'll figure out what to do with the arms. Because I have his legs back here like this, I'm gonna want one of those arms and hands to be um, kind of backward like this. So I'm just gonna throw in a circle for now and the other one, I want to counterbalance. So I'm going to put it up here. All right. And we'll throw in shape here and make sure they're both the same length and they are. Now that we've got the body kind of roughly in there, I'm going to put in his head. Now, like I said before, he's facing this direction. So I've got that center axis line, the vertical one down here like this and the horizontal, I want nice and low. When I draw Donald Duck, I first make sure that I separate those eyes. So on either side of this vertical axis line, I will throw in a line. That way I keep those eyes separated nicely and now I'm ready to put in the eye shapes, which are kind of elongated um, uh, egg shape kind of shapes. Now that I drew in this eye line, I'm going to ignore these lines. These lines are just the rough, rough sketch lines. And let's 
throw in the bill shape. So in drawing Donald Duck's beak, I start with the shape we already have for the bottom of the eye, and then I curve upward right here. The top part of that arch should be where the vertical axis line is, and then we come down. Follow in with the eye shape of the other eye, and then I'll come back here and I'll throw in his cheek shape there. Give him his laugh line, just like so. And now here's the trick uh, to drawing in Donald Duck's upper bill correctly every time. I go from here and I will come out a little bit. Then I will draw in, so we've got this line here. I'm gonna draw in a line like this, and now I'm gonna draw a line up like that. Now that I've got that shape in, I will come back in here and I will curve his beak line and come up like so. Now what I'll do is I'll give him that upper ridge to his bill and curve it in ever so slightly right here at the front. Throw in his other cheek shape there like that. And I wanna draw him with his mouth open, so I will come out here like this and like this. It tapers inward toward the bottom. And you just give him a little bit of an upturn here. Now I'll come out here and I will follow this shape. Like this. And now from there, I'll give him that hint of a tongue. All right, now earlier we decided where his neck was, right? But because his mouth is open, we don't see his neck. But we do want to remember that uh, the collar of his shirt indicates where his neck ends. Right? So we're going to give him this little V-neck type shape here like that. But before we go any further, one thing that I always need to do is draw in that line that shows me where the center of his chest is. That way I know where everything has to end up. So this line very lightly drawn so we can erase it later will show us um, where his uh, where his bow tie goes, and it'll show us where we need to make sure that his um, that any kind of pattern to his shirt would rest. If he's wearing something with argyle, we need to make sure that um, all of those uh, those points are um, uniform. So you want to make sure that, that line is in there. Okay, so when drawing the collar on Donald, you want to give him a little bit of a, a ridge around the top there. And then some of that will come over his, his shoulder. So we're gonna wanna come in like this. Same thing with the other side, but because his arm is up, I'm just gonna bring it up here like that. And now from there, we will give him that bow tie. knot in the middle and then the other side and because I know his body shape is here and here I know we can dip his shirt down here like this okay you always want to have the shirt dip in the front instead of rise in the front and we'll just bell that out a little bit. Come in like this. Yeah. All right. Come in like that. Now let's let's go after his sleeves and his hands here. So with Donald Duck, because he's a bird, um, his fingers are shaped a little differently than Mickey or Goofy. 
um, they kind of point a little bit more. Because you want to give them almost like a feathered approach. They're going to they're going to be slightly pointed. And then yeah, the other one we'll just put there in the back. Now his thumb. You get that meaty part of his thumb there. that. All right, that's one hand. Now let's darken in the sleeves a little bit. His arm will come in on that sleeve, and then we'll just bell that sleeve out a little bit, just like so. A little crease underneath, and then we'll give him his stripes. Okay. In this arm, I'm gonna bring it up and let's give him let's give him a pose here for his hand. Let's see his thumb. His hand. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. Now his hands don't taper into a slim wrist like Mickey or Goofy would. He's not wearing gloves. His arms are a little thicker. So they're not going to come in. They're just gonna stay kinda almost flat to the hand like that. And then let's give him that sleeve. Bow the sleeve out and kind of bring it in. Just like that. And again, you want to make sure you give him his stripes like that. Now, let's focus back in on his head shape. He has a brow over his eye and it has to follow the shape of the eye. If his eyes are furrowed down, we need to bring that brow down. If he's smiling, nice big wide eyes, that brow kind of rests on top of the eye shape just like that. He has three tufts of feathers for a little bit of a hint of hair, and then from there, I'll cut into the head a little bit to give him that hat of his. So his hat kind of gets thick toward the top here. And I'll just shade that in like so, and then Kind of like Goofy. Actually, it's a lot like Goofy. We've got a, a C shape like this, and then we've got a nice, bigger, rounded shape just like that. He's got that tag on the back of his hat here. I still have not been able to figure out what this tag is all about. Okay, so now that we've got all that in, um, let's put in his tail. And his tail will, now that I got his hand in like that, I want his tail to kind of separate from that a little bit. Right there. His legs have to look like they're coming from 
out of the the feathers. So we give him these little these little poofy uh, little curve shapes. Comes down. These legs are almost completely parallel. They kind of taper in a little bit, but then they come out a little bit too, right there at the bottom. And we already have the shape of the feet in, except we need to give him his toes. So we gotta remember the middle of his foot is here. And the middle toe is bigger than the other two. So this one's kind of like a hint of one. We've got the big one here, and then we have a hint of another one here, just like that. Now this leg, because it's behind the body, we don't have to worry about this stuff. It's just gonna come out from the other side, just like that. And the center will go right about here, right? have it. A couple lines here for the tops of his feet. And that's Donald Duck. Guys, if you like drawing this with me, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification and tell your friends. I've got a Teespring account. The link is in the description if you want to take a look at my merchandise there. I want to thank you again for joining me. And until the next video, we'll see you later.